What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're back today with the Unicore iMini and we're connected to the GS Pro Golf Simulator software. We're actually out at Quail Hollow, which I showed kind of briefly in one of my previous videos and I actually didn't have the latest version. So I thought, what a good opportunity to go play nine holes with the iMini and show this latest version of Quail Hollow. All right, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Grab my ball and tee and my driver and uh, it's a par five on number one and it's interesting too because of the way it is a dog leg to the right and kind of where you're going to you know place the ball so I'm gonna kind of aim down towards this bunker down here um, feel like that'll be a good play all right see if we can get off and uh, run in with a decent drive now through the video I think that should be pretty good to start things off um, I will talk about different things about the iMini. Uh, I just did a video on the alignment. It's just a little YouTube short. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, you know, we'll talk about kind of performance. You're going to be able to see driver, you know, chipping, putting, all that. Um, I think that's the first time anybody's seen driver with the mini. So there you go. Eight yards downhill, 193. So I'm going to say like a faded uh six iron you know like a soft six i hope that's not too much but where the pin placement is you know i mean could i get a seven iron there i could with eight or eight yards downhill but let's just hit a soft six and see if that works out one seventy three so with that eight yards that could be real close oh and it got the bounce oh not even going to see putting on the first hole. I eagled. <laughs> I did bump up the gimme zone. Usually the tournaments are five. I bumped it to eight just because it kind of speeds the video up a little bit. Um, and you guys are going to be able to see putting. Uh, I'm not going to be hitting every shot <laughs> in the gimme zone. Uh, what a way to start the video. All right, so let's see what we got here. Where's a good aiming zone at? Got to kind of go over those trees. That's 282 and it's uphill. Looks like it'll be pretty easy to launch over those trees as long as I don't, you know, pull it left. I'm just gonna kind of go for a, a straight drive again. Once I switch to an extra stiff driver shaft, uh, I tend to miss to the right more than like that hook miss. And actually, I managed to draw that a little bit. Oh, it's gonna work out so well. All right, no complaints with the game so far. I mean, I'm not quite warmed up with the driver, just hitting smooth drives, and it kind of shows me that's the, you know, swing I should be going for all the time rather than swinging out of my shoes. I mean, ball speed's a little lower than what I'm used to. Ball speed actually dropped when I switched to an extra stiff shaft, but the dispersion got so much better, I'm just not worried about it. So 59 yards, eight feet uphill, this new Quail Hollow really is cool, isn't it? I'm in ultra mode, 4K. Obviously, YouTube steps on it a little bit, so it might not be the quality that I'm seeing, but I mean, this is this is solid quality. 59 yards. This is where I lose a little bit of my game judging those distances. It's a little uphill too. Well, I should have looked that it was 2.6 degrees right, I'll tell you that, which I did not pay attention to because I feel like that was, I mean, sure, it could have been a tiny bit to the right. We can look at our, uh, yeah, so it was launch direction, you know, a little bit to the right, a couple degrees, plus a couple degrees, kind of added up. So I need to pay attention to that. Unfortunately, I don't get to play a lot of casual golf in the simulator. I'm always doing so much, you know, reviews and testing and everything. So um, I tend to not, you know, uh, remember some of those little, quirks that really help all right so i've showed some putting as well in the previous video if you haven't checked it out now you know make sure you do that seven inches downhill 11 stimp so this is only playing like 11 feet um i mean I've, this is gonna be fast fast hopefully that's not too much come on all right a eagle and a birdie to start things off. I think we'll just stop the video right there. I hope you guys have seen enough. Um, I wouldn't do that to you. 
<laughs> All right, let's see if we can put together a round here. What a cool course. I mean, the way that the grass is refined, got the custom tee boxes. Um, I mean, sharp looking course. Just gotta keep these driver swings smooth. I'm closing the face a little bit. and I haven't been doing that a lot lately. You can see I'm gonna miss this one a little bit to the left. It's not gonna kill me, um, but I better be careful. I mean, I'm not used to that left miss. It's been a, uh, you know, a push. And I don't know if I can get up and over. That's 166. I'm out of the rough and it's in the back. So if I just try to maybe draw a seven iron around, and this will be a good example of mini. I'm, not, I'm just going to aim in the sim. I'm going to aim to the right and try to draw a seven iron around this tree if I can launch it up high enough. Um, it's going to deduct, so I feel like that's the right distance. All right, I got around the tree. Is it too much of a draw, though? And it's a little too far. I was hoping that, see, the draw boosts your distance a little bit. When you pull a ball, it, you know, it boosts your distance. So I think that was the right play from there. So let's show, uh, let's show short chipping. I could probably putt this, but let's show short chipping out of the semi-rough. I mean, look how detailed the semi-rough is. The rough, the semi-rough, the fringe, um, how they have that multi-layer. So it's going to run out. It's only 13 yards. I mean, I probably only want to carry this 15, 20 feet or so and let it roll out. Roll, roll, roll. Oh man, I gave it a chance. Well, we're going to get out of there with a par and I'm very happy with that after my drive. What do we have here? 148 yards. It's a foot uphill. This is in between for me, but notice that the pin is in the front and it's protected by bunkers. So I'm better off if I can play a fade or just hitting a softer eight iron in my opinion. I'm gonna take a little bit off and see if that's the right play here. Challenging par three it looks like. I've never played this course. I think I pushed it, yeah. Hopefully it's on the green and we have a putt. All right. So, oh, look at this. The undulation is in our favor. All right. <laughs> the little return, that was kind of, look at the putt too, it's a good putt. I have to tell you what, I think that might have even been the play is to, to land it up there and let it come back. Oh man, I'm not even gonna aim the putt, I'm just gonna go down. Let's see here, it's playing about 16 feet. The uh, mini goes into putting mode, which makes it more sensitive. You want to be careful. This thing can pick up like a one inch putt. So do not hit your ball once it's in putting mode and it's locked in. If you need to move it, cover it up and then take your ball. We are on a roll. Four under. 392. I just, I really think that this course is, you know, it's depicting the elevation really well. Let's do a flyover. I haven't done a flyover. We're already, you know, through four. Let's do a quick flyover. Look at that. I really like how it's doing a solid job showing that elevation where it dips down and goes up. I think that, you know, software that can represent that, it's really important. All right. So let's see here, 276. I'm gonna try to not release it quite as much. I feel like I might've been hitting it just a tiny bit toe bound too with my driver. And we could even review looking in the view app where it's hitting on the, on the face. Maybe we'll do that. If I miss another one left, we'll see where the impact is. Felt maybe a little toe bound. Yep. Just a little bit left, but I'll take it. A little bounce off the fairway into the rough. So if I wanted to review that, I can just go over and if I had another monitor, I could have this on another monitor. But all I have to do 
is just pull up view, go to club, and I can look at the photo, and I can look at the frame by frame. So here it is coming in. There's where it's hitting. So that was hit pretty well. I'm just closing the face down a little bit and causing just a little bit of left spin. You can actually see the left spin generated on that ball. How cool is that? Very cool. That was a pretty good strike, though. All right. I'll take it. I'm not going to, you know, dissect a shot that's just off the fairway that, you know, carried 280 with 160 ball speed. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. I'm going to have to take more club. I grabbed a 58. I'm going to grab a 54 because I don't like swinging out of my shoes with my 58. And uh, it's in the rough, so I'm going to get a little deduct. I do see that it's 1.5 right, so I'll try to make sure that I don't push this. All right. One oh four carry. It's gonna release a little out of the rough. Not a bad shot. I'll take that. Gives us an opportunity for birdie. I like the little flag they have now in the upper left where it says for birdie. Um, it shows it for a second and then goes away. It's pretty cool. All right, pay attention to that up there where it says uh, my third shot. It'll kind of push out a little flag and it will say, you know, for birdie. All right, let's see if we can Looks like it has that, that brake line indicator turned on in the settings. I don't really use that. They don't allow it in tournaments either. So I usually have it off. I don't know why it's on, honestly. I think that's that's where I like it, though. 11-11. A lot of people I know would say make a wish. 11 is good luck. All right. Ah, too fast. Yep, I felt like that was going to be a little too much. All right, we'll take our par. We're four under. Well, this is interesting, though. It's 199 seven yards downhill. So can I get a six iron there, or do I play that same shot where it's like a light five? Um, I feel like... I'm sorry, I meant to say six iron, not five iron. I think that I play a light five. I just don't like swinging out of my shoes. I'm going to take a little bit off of a five iron. I'll try to play a fade if I can manage to swing it. If not, no big deal, whatever. I like working on my game when I'm out practicing like this. Oh, I think I pushed it though, yeah. That was the only problem. That was the swing. I needed to close the face a little bit, and that was going to be the fade that was going to be ideal. All right, it's going to leave us with just a short chip. I'm not losing sleep over a shot like that 14 yards away it's going to be challenging all right kind of have to get it up to stop so what you can do is I, I feel like it's going to roll out a little bit if i can hit this for like nine yards maybe a little to the right i feel like that's going to be the shot it's going to deduct a little bit out of the rough Oh, uh, too short though. Roll, roll. I mean, not bad. I honestly didn't clip that super well. I think I would have got a little more out of if I, you know, clipped it just a little bit better. I could feel a little bit of bounce on the club. You know, I didn't really crack the ball first like I wanted to. Got to work on that short game a little bit. All right. This is a par five. A little bit of water down there way downhill too so i mean you're totally reaching that water all right this is a nice course it's cool to watch this on tv i've been missing to the left though release i'm just going to try to make that same swing oh that was a not the best contact that was low on the face it's going to be challenging give me an opening yeah, I kind of just came across a little bit. I think I was trying to steer the ball is what I was trying to do. I always, you know, talk about water and make a different swing. Oh, I, what I set myself up here for. There's a little tree there. That's 196. Uh, I think I'm just going to play it safe with a five iron. 
I mean, there's no sense in like trying to go for it. This could get there. Um, but there's no sense in like trying to like hit a four iron and carry all the distance to the pin or something. I don't, I mean, it's just going to run out if I got it there. Let's see if I can just get this close. Yeah, caught it a little heavy, so it's going to be a little short. It's what I was trying to do. Now, if I wouldn't have caught that heavy, it probably would have bounced close to the green. You get a little deduct from uh, the rough, of course, but this sets us up, you know, to get up and down for birdie. It's almost that same shot that I just had where I kind of want to chip it up and let it roll out a little bit. Yeah, like, look at that eight yards. I mean, this is very similar to what I just had. So if I can clip this ball a little better this time. Settle. I'll be putting that one. I clipped it better and it was just a little too much. I want to show you guys putting though. So the more putting we show, I'm not complaining. We still got an opportunity here for birdie. We'll aim just a, maybe a right side that ball's just gonna move just a little bit. Try to make a good putting stroke here and knock this in for bird. There it is, right in the center. And we're five under through seven. So I'm not complaining, not complaining. This is, it's always fun when you play around like this, especially if I get to, you know, record it and show it in the channel. But, you know, the Mini's been doing a really good job. I like it locks in pretty fast. I like that it has that putting mode it switches into. Um, no, no reason for me to use the alignment tool inside. If you guys watched that video, all you could do is make sure it's zero and square to your target. Um, let's see here. So 273. So it's a shorter par four. I like that. And get this. I mean, there's guys driving the screen all day. Not me. Especially in leather sneakers I'm in, probably not the best choice. Oh, it was high in the face. That's gonna drop out of the sky. I hit one of these the other day outside. Notice the total spin. That is correct. <laughs> I've seen it on various launch monitors. I, if I catch it super high on the face, it is just a zero spinning ball. I hit one of these out on the course the other day and watched that same ball flight. It was like, whew. I mean, it's like this knuckleball that falls out of the sky. Um, well, the driver was going solid and that was not ideal, but you know what? It's going to work out just fine. I'd rather do that on a short par four and uh, see if we can get up and down. 55 yards. A little short maybe is it gonna roll yeah it's gonna give us a chance for birdie if it stays you can hit space bar if you have a little roller like this and it will yeah it will speed it up oh uh, and no wonder that rolled i would have gave that a little more juice if i knew it was landing on the uphill i should have used the heat map that's a cool feature well it's uphill in my opinion the uphill always takes a little bit of break off i mean maybe not a lot but a little bit and this is playing like 31 32 feet let's see if we can give it a chance oh i hit it too hard <laughs> i'll take my par but man that was dead center and I just, I wanted to get it up the hill because I figured give it a chance and I deserve that. I deserve that. All right, final hole. Got to make a good driver swing here. Got to make a good driver swing. All right, pretty straightforward overall. This has been fun though. I want you guys to comment below any questions you have. <clears throat> you know, thoughts. Have you ordered a mini? Are you thinking about it? Um, you know, if you want me to connect you with my partners, you know, you're looking at various components, packages, anything like that, let me know. Happy to connect you. Um, but as always, I just appreciate you guys watching. It's been a lot of fun testing this thing out of the gate. Not terrible, 
but I hit it low on the face, generating a uh, high spin. I overcorrected when I you know, hit that one too high. I made a little adjustment there, but that's okay. Still gives us a decent chance here. Just got to make a good swing. So it's going to be a deduct, and it's out of the rough, so it's going to roll out a little bit. I think this is kind of like a sort of a stock 8 iron. Sort of a stock 8 iron. Just going to like it when my ball's right in the middle. All right. 2.2 right. Glad I just looked at that. So I'm going to maybe try to draw this maybe just a tiny bit. There's that little draw. Let's hope it's not too much. Spin, spin, spin. Nope, not out of the rough. <laughs> not gonna happen. Wouldn't happen in real life. Not gonna happen on GS Pro. All right, I'll take that for my last approach shot. I mean, pretty good round of golf for just firing this thing up randomly and um, you know throwing nine holes together for you guys. After I realized that I sh I was showing the old Quail Hollow, I was like, I gotta show the new one. I mean, especially once I saw it. So I appreciate you guys pointing that out. I move really fast. I mean, I work with so much software, so much hardware, doing things nonstop. I don't mind a little help. You know, I appreciate the comments um, when it's something that uh, is helpful. I'm always willing to listen. Um, I appreciate that a lot. All right, let's get this in the hole. We end up, look at that, with a 30. I'll take it. What a fun round. Really fun round. Started off with the eagle, birdie, 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 no bogeys. Um, I mean, that that's a fun round. That's a full nine holes, guys, with the Unicor iMini. I really want you guys to comment below questions that you have, things you want to see. I mean, a lot of people wanted to see on course play. So what a good opportunity to show the new Quail Hollow, you know, kind of redeem myself from showing the old one and, uh, and have a fun round at the same time. So um, really enjoyed it. Looking forward to covering this more in the channel. So stay tuned. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. There'll be a lot more coming soon.